Scarlet Innocence is a South Korean erotic thriller film directed by Yim Pil-sung. The movie revolves around the intense and passionate relationship between a literature professor, Hak Kyu, and a young woman, Daeok Yi, who works at a spinner's wheel in a rural village. The plot unfolds as Hak Kyu, who is banished from Seoul due to a scandal involving a student, encounters Daeok Yi and becomes entangled in a relationship that spirals into a dark abyss of revenge and despair. This movie starts with literature professor Shim Ha Kyu, forced to leave Seoul to teach in a small rural town until the matter is settled, leaving his depressed wife and daughter, Chung Yi. In this small town, Shim Ha Kyu met a naive girl named Deo Ki. She was a ticket seller at an amusement park. Deo Ki was attracted to Shim Ha Kyu's handsome appearance and knowledge and quickly fell in love with him. To get closer to Shim Ha Kyu, she specifically attended his class, which was a literature writing course. The two gradually developed feelings for each other and grew closer. One day, she went to his house for drinks, and they both consumed a fair amount of alcohol. At that moment, Shim Ha Kyu's wife called him, asking him to take the evening bus back to Seoul, as she missed him dearly. His wife had mental health issues and was always suspicious of him having affairs. To comfort his wife, Shim Hak Kyu reluctantly decided to return overnight. At the station, Shim Hak Kyu and Deo Ki said their heartfelt goodbyes. However, once on the bus, Shim Hak Kyu, under the influence of alcohol and captivated by his infatuation with Deo Ki, chose to get off midway. The two returned to Shim Hak Kyu's home and shared their first kiss. The thin veil over their feelings was pierced and they embarked on their romantic affair. They met secretly in the depths of night, kissed, cuddled, and made love in the Ferris wheel. They went shopping together, ate barbecues. A street artist drew a sketch of Deo Ki, serving as a testament to their love for each other. However, Shim Hak Kyu was inherently a womanizer and had no long-term intentions of settling in this small town. His love affair with Diok E was partly due to his desire to pass the tedious time in the town, and moreover, he had his own family. Therefore, their love was destined to be a tragedy. The townspeople soon learn of their relationship, deeply upsetting Diok E's deaf mother. With the assistance of his friend, Dong Wu, Hak Kyu's reputation is restored, permitting him to resume teaching at his university. Before leaving, Dioki informs him that she became pregnant following their encounter. After terminating the pregnancy, Hak Kyu departs, vowing to come back for Dioki. However, he returns to his family, providing solace to his distressed wife. Though Hak Kyu is still going to the rural town for a while, he avoids Dioki, telling her to wait. One night, Hak Kyu visits her home to bribe her into never speaking their relationship again for a sum of money. During the conflict, Deoki forgets to turn off the stove, which engulfs her house with her mother still inside. Receiving distressing calls from Chung Yi, his daughter Ha Kyu returns home to find that his wife has committed suicide. Eight years later, Ha Kyu has become a successful writer, but his life is riddled with vices like excessive drinking, smoking, and gambling, accumulating significant debts along the way. At the same time, he learns that an illness is threatening his vision. Feeling the absence of her father's care, and in the midst of her teenage rebellious phase, Chung E is in need of someone she can rely on. Deok E, having survived the fire eight years earlier, decides to seek revenge on Hak Kyu, aiming to make him lose everything he possesses. She adopts the alias, Yun Se Jung, moves in next to Hak Kyu, and intentionally gets close to Chung E, gradually earning her trust. Hak Kyu's vision deteriorates rapidly, and coupled with mounting debts and being dismissed from the university, his situation grows increasingly dire. Seizing this opportunity, Dioki deliberately gets close to Hak Kyu, starts caring for him, assists with typing and editing his manuscripts, and intentionally tries to seduce him. Due to his deteriorating eyesight and the passage of eight years, he is completely unaware that this new female neighbor is the very girl he had once harmed. Deoki recommended an ophthalmologist to him, 
However, the surgery required a hefty fee. As a result, Huck Q took a risk by gambling at a casino and accumulated even more debt. Meanwhile, it was this very doctor who ultimately caused his blindness. And all of this was part of Dioki's scheme. Eventually, the gambling boss, Mr. Choi, forces Huck Q to sign a contract, sending Chung Yi to Japan to work as a prostitute in return for a hefty sum of money. During Huck Q's period of mourning, Dioki reveals her identity and her anger to him, saying she will continue to make him suffer until he dies. Upon learning the truth, Huck Q was filled with remorse. He knew he had wronged Dioki and hoped that tormenting him might provide her some emotional relief. Perhaps it was out of revenge, wanting to witness his despair, as he lost everything, or maybe deep down, she still harbored feelings for him. Regardless, she continued to care for Hak Kyu, as the blind man couldn't get by without her. During these times, Hak Kyu persisted with his writing, producing novels with even more exquisite prose, leaving Diok E in awe. However, Dioki was horrified when the now experienced Chung Yi managed to return home because Chung Yi met an old rich man in Japan and paid off all her debts, and now she had a lot of money. One day, Chung Yi noticed the scars on Dioki's body, remnants of the fire from eight years prior. She felt deeply saddened for Dioki's past ordeal. However, Chung Yi said that she nearly lost her life due to Dioki's vengeance so she demanded Dioki pay an equivalent price. Chung Yi then forced Dioki into a surgery to give her eyes to her father. Before the surgery, Dioki requested to see Hak Kyu one more time. Filled with regret, Hak Kyu stated that his daughter had changed significantly and had powerful forces backing her, making it impossible for him to prevent her actions. He expressed his hope that Dioki could be with her. He had full confidence in the novel he recently wrote and promised that, once his vision was restored, he would do everything in his power to take care of her. She asked him, What remains between us? He replied, Love still remains. I loved you, but at that time I had no other choice. The film closes with the now blind Diaki sitting near a lake and grabbing her hand was Hot Q who watches her and says, Dayaki, I love you. This is a movie you can't miss.